Hey guys, welcome back to We Watch Movie. I'm Mike, he's Jason. God damn! God, okay, I threw some breath with that. Yeah, and I smelled it. It was good. Onions? Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, you can. All right, some turkey it. meatloaf. What you gotta do is, if the true fright and uh, despair makes it taste sweeter. You gotta fry it up. Mm-hmm. Get that jerky. Them goddamn hillbillies are back in this episode, guys. <laughs> Meanwhile, at the Honey Boo Boo picnic party. <laughs> <laughs> it's fucking Duck Dynasty, the bizarro it version. Is. And so it is. I hate it, man. I, honestly, I'm, I don't like the Polks. I'm sick of the fucking Polks. I think the one that the actors who played the Polks mm -hmm. were actually more realistic than these ones were. The mom, she reminds me of Jason Eight. You know when she's like, "Come in here, and get some of my stew, you fucking asshole." Yeah, she, she reminds me. It's too fake. For I don't. Me. Yeah, that's true. They do. Are they are stretching the whole Polk hillbilly fucking angle a lot now? And I mean, I get that they're central to the idea of American Horror Story season six, but at the same time, it, you know, you need to go somewhere else with it. Like we get it. They're hillbillies. They're in North Carolina. These fuckers eat people for meat because prices are so high they can't afford their eggs <laughs> and milk goddamn obama fuck it <laughs> thanks obama he's got us fucking so, eating people but yeah so i mean i get that that's like an angle that they're going with but at the same time we can go somewhere else now like kill them off I and mean, then they did start killing some hillbillies which i like yeah finally. and that one uh what was his jethro toll uh jeff whatever's <laughs> that fucker he, he, he was coming on to Lee after they'd scalped the shit out of her pretty much, like bacon bit at her. Oh, and and he was like, oh. I just want you to grab it. He gets his leg grabbed and caressed by his mom. Yeah. And she's like, as long as we keep it in the she family. She the Deadpool thing, dude. She was like, Dad? It's like, <laughs> it's your mom, dude. <laughs> I was like, oh. That shit was nasty it was as hell, gross. man. And there was a lot of filler in this episode. We spent too much time in that goddamn dirty ass basement hearing them just fucking talk about nothing and all this. You did find out that the pig man, I said this from day fucking one, I said that the pig dude in the shower from yep. uh, season one that killed the dude from Modern Family or that scared the dude from Modern Family I thought that was the same guy and it was because he mentions he's like oh, yeah. my, my uncle or my nephew whatever the fuck it was See, I, didn't, I didn't mind the Hulk backstory it was alright I mean it was told in a way that was kind of entertaining and yeah. kind of investing but I mean at the same time I didn't give a shit that much to keep on going with what they were doing I mean it was like, it was basically a hostile at that point because you know you have the two chicks tied up the actresses and they're pulling teeth out and they're talking and scaring them and I did like uh, what was her name uh uh, Monet, Monet, when she gets free, after she gets free, and she's trying to unchain Audrey, and then she's like, they, she hears them coming back, and instead of being the hero and hiding away and like beating the shit out of them, she's like, I'm gonna watch your mama about you, and she takes them, <laughs> she's gone that like smoke. Good. Lee admitted to killing Mason. Yeah, that shit came out of nowhere. I thought for yeah. sure she was gonna die after that, but she didn't. She gets away, and then, then of course, when they're sitting in the room, she's like, we gotta go back, and I was like, that, that's stupid as fuck. Yeah. I would just, I would just let the cards lay where they may. There was a lot of fill in this episode, stuff like that, but when you go back, there were some deaths too. Cuba Gooding Jr. dies. And, I know, and, I, I, I kind of didn't nowhere. like it. I kind of didn't like that I mean, he died. I, I, you know what, I was kind of annoyed with Dominic, the character he was playing in this. I was kind of annoyed with him at first for a little bit, and then I kind of was like used to him. I'm like, I kind of want you to survive radio because you've always got Mr. Coach Jones on your side. And then when he was outside and those fucking bitches left him to die by Pigman Sawface, I, I, I felt like Men of Honor and Robert De Niro. I was like, God damn it, Radio, move your ass. I want my 12. <laughs> I did, but I will say that I did like that the pick man finally got him somebody, yeah, dude. Because yeah. he's been showing up with this. He always shows up and he's scary as fuck. And then he always gets kicked in the nuts or something. He's like, he never gets to fucking kill him. He's anyone. fucking Wilbur from fucking Winnie the Pooh. Is that his name? The donkey? He's like, okay, I guess I'll go back and wave. But I'll tell you something that was cool in this episode that was freaky as shit. Um, the chins showed up Dude. in the tunnel. And I'm going to tell you something. Spider-Man on meth crawling on walls, I will not have it in my home. Dude. I had to fucking mute it, dude. It scared the shit out of me. That was were, fucking good. Because you see, uh, you know, Shelby's down there with, um, Cuba. you know, Dominic. You know, Cuba. 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 They're down there and they're going through the tunnel and they think they see Frederick. And she's like, oh, he'll help us. He's a friendly ghost, kind of. <laughs> and then all of a sudden on the walls, the grudge shit's turkey jerky and down. I'm like... N O said the ho, let's go. <laughs> I didn't think it could get any scarier than they were. The and the, the fake they ones. They all do. These ones were fucking just. And it was, but that whole moment, like when they when they run back upstairs to get away from the chins, fuck they're doing the chins. fucking parkour off I the know. fucking stairs and shit. That is not a YouTube video I want to watch or get popular on YouTube. I, but you know, they run upstairs and then. He, uh, Cuba gets his hand caught in the door and it looks like it hurts. Yeah. That looks like it hurts. And then he's wrapping up in ice and saying, okay, there's got to be a way. There's got to be a way. And he's like, there's no way that we're going to get out of this alive. There is Shelby. no choice. And it's like, fuck it, Shelby. You're dead. Done. I'll just go and leave you with my handful of ice and I hope, to, hope you die. You know, but, she, you know, she they, went out the right way, though. But like, it does. But it was. But when that whole sequence was going on, you saw the nurses coming out. You saw the chins fucking Spider-Manning on the wall. Yeah. You, you got the pig man coming out saying, where's the bacon? Where's the beef? 
it was scary. Like that was a cool. That sequence. was a badass scene, and I was bitching about that. You mentioned it before, how it was just became a torture porn th mm. thing when they're sitting with the polks and stuff like that. I actually said that I was like, this is just torture porn. This isn't even scary. But that scene was actually fucking frightening. That was really That's bad. what American Horror Story is about. I like that shit a lot. And, but halfway through this, man, I was thinking. Fuck, like, everybody's dead. Yeah. People are dying left and right. They're still two I called episodes. it early. I said Flora, dude. I said, because, I'll tell you what they yeah. did, dude. They have, I think they were foreshadowing a little bit. They showed Flora to uh, Lee, but they didn't show her picture. So you don't know what she looks like yet. I think that Flora's going to show up and she's going to, like, be able, the last one to survive. Isotopes. Yeah, to see what she OJ oh, did. I don't know who's <laughs> going to survive, man. I think it's going to be some sort of twist. I think it's going to be someone that's supposed to be dead that turns out not to be dead. Yep. And they're going to show up and it's going to be a big twist. Well, what did you think about? I wish it was Evan Peters, but it won't be. Yeah, I wish Evan Peters was the last one. But what was it? What's I can't remember the girl's name. I'm sorry. Uh, Audrey. Um, Sarah Paulson. I'm sorry. Her name I, was Sarah Paulson. But in the, I just feel like her acting is getting worse or something because when she runs in and finds Shelby dead, she's like, oh my God, I feel like a part of me has died. I'm like, <laughs> it turns, oh, it, it's, no. it's comedic. I think they're trying to do that, I, well, but it okay. is comedic because she's always talking, when she's talking to the camera, she's like, oh, I had so many good performances for you. She was fucking gone. Like the lights. God damn it. Here the comes fucking the fuck butt with the light song again. Can you fix it? I don't know how, Jay. God fucking. I'll hold your spot. All right, do it. Wayne, shut up, Garth. <laughs> it's back on. Oh shit, that was a water bottle. I just thought it wasn't my phone, man. <laughs> it would have been scary. Holy shit balls. Okay. So in the end, the final twist is, I'm starting to think there's nobody fucking left to kill, but they open the door and weird beard Wes Bentley from Hunger Games shows back up with the pick mask. And it's like the scene from Scream when she runs through the front door and it's Dave Arquette. And you're like, ah! Yeah, no, yeah, no that's okay. Right. Fuck it. Fuck you. Fucking light. Fuck it, you. we'll do it live! Shit's dark and we don't care. Fucking thing sucks. Underwear. <laughs> but yeah, all, yeah, I give this episode like a 6.5. I thought it was a lot of fucking filler. They killed off a couple people, sure. I'm still psyched to see where the season goes and what they do. I'm still, I, they need to turn something around here. These past two episodes for me personally, just did not. After after episode five fucking kicked us in the nuts in the awesome way that it did. It's kind of been a letdown Six. since then. It's kind of fizzled, yeah. Kind Six. of fizzled a little bit since then, but still, yeah. I liked it a little bit better. I liked it, I liked it seven five. It's nowhere near what the quality should have been. Or what six was episode six? That's still the best one for sure. Yeah, that's the question of the day, by the way. Who do you guys think is going to survive Chuck in Norris. the end? Who's going to be the last man standing? Texas. Texas Ranger. Pete. It'd be funny if he did come out like uh, Chuck Norris, just chopping trees down with a karate chop with his <laughs> dick. I heard yeah. that. Yeah. Comment down below, let us know what your all's thoughts are. Until next time, we love your fucking faces. If you're new to the channel, click that subscribe button and get some goddamn wham up in you. We're going to the Sizzler. Sizzler. <laughs> He's going to Sizzler.